the next part. Bum ba dum ba di bi di boop di do 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 Was in there, oh my god, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh. Hi, friend, how you doing? Never ride this roller coaster. There's this giant creepy man. What? <laughs> Oh, my best friend. Hi, friend. He's not my best friend. Look at him. Dun, dun, dun. I just in a road across the land. Well, you can ride him more than once? No way. There's only one thing you can't ride more than once. That's the actual roller coaster. <sighs> Time to go to the... I go to that place. Actually, we need to go to the bumper cars. We're not gonna ride any. That's why I didn't consider it a ride. He came from that way. Yeah, he just slanted the report. Ah, bad, 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 It might die. Treachery hides in thoughts. Treachery that lashes like a whip and scars our insides. The first time I saw Callum, my thoughts betrayed me. I looked down at this wrinkled, red, bawling thing and I thought, is that it? We build our world from expectations, and the world that I had built for Callum was no different. He was so real, so there, and so far from my expectations. They shattered, and as they fell in pieces, that one treacherous thought became a new foundation. All of the love that we shared, all of the warmth and goodness that followed, built on a single traitorous thought. This is David Parody. Huh? Sorry. No offense. My name's David Constant Pierre. crashes in 80s music. Dude. Guess it floats someone's boat. Um. Your mom's boat. Device. Oh, 
Oh, there's an unmapped car. I'll see if we can ride it with ghost people. You can drive it around. That'd be a bit cooler than I think. Examine. I actually didn't say report. Uh huh. Photocopy. Yeah. Holy. Oh god. What is that? Holy. Imagine that happening in real life. Oh boy, hey man, jump over the car. I've actually, if you guys don't know already, I've never rode a bumper car in my life. Isn't that bad? Ever. It's a matter of public record that I am a failure as a mother. Uh huh. Once, when Callum was very small. I left him asleep in the car while I ran an errand. Don't even remember what it was. When I came back, the sheriff was standing next to the car, watching my boy through the window. I didn't like what I saw in his eyes. Judgment. He wrote me the ticket without saying a word. Just the scratch scratch of his pen on the notepad. When he gave it to me, our eyes met. I know what you're going through. My daughter, Helen, she just gets some help. Help was a bolt of lightning. Help was a thousand volts surging through my veins. Help is agony. I'd rather die. I wanted to scream. I'd rather you pulled your gun and shot me. But instead my mouth said, yes, Sheriff. Carl! I can't get on while it's moving. See, that's why. You see, that's why I always decrease the speed. All the way. All the way. All the way. All the way. There's many people who are like, oh my gosh, you can't do that much mining. Okay, there we go. Also, if people are wondering, why don't you ever ride Ferris wheels? I was the whole entire afraid of heights thing. That's why. People come into your life for a reason. Dad used to say that before Mom ran off. After that, he mostly just drank. Things were different for Don and I. When we met, I was sweeping the floor at Susie's diner. He came in with some workers, but he didn't try to flirt or cop a feel like the others. He just ordered a coffee and sat there, watching me. When my shift was over, he offered to walk me home. I don't know how to describe that walk. He talked and laughed and eventually kissed. It felt like love. It felt like a fairy tale. Probably was. I can't tell you if Callum was made that night or one of the ones that followed. But I think it has to be that night. That one perfect night. Don and I moved in together, but then, well, he died. According to the supervisor, his safety harness failed when he was working on the top of the Ferris wheel. Don was there one moment. And then gone. Sometimes people leave your life for no reason. Or they just die. I was three months for pregnant with Callum. Fairy tale fucking over. Oh, mama, and you have issues with the Capital One. Um, I bet you guys are really that the guy is gonna be there. How did I know? It's not even 
wasn't pulling anything. He's just, he's just like, he's like, ride Ferris wheel. No. Let's go, guys. What was that? Yeah, it's weird. Oh, I can ride the Ferris wheel from over here? That works. Okay, so instead of going through this giant line, you can just pop on the Ferris wheel. And right now, we're looking at this. So we're looking at this. Maybe this way. No, it's the Octoshon. I can still... My other fairy source will be gone from my screen right now. Watch when I'm riding the freaking roller coaster so I don't say ride the fairy source. I'm so scared. I'm clicking X. See? I don't want to ride no Ferris wheel. I just want to ride. Ooh. Ooh, looky here, guys. Guys, I gotta say, be prepared. Bum 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 Come on, woman, run. I'm drinking rum in Red Bull. Everybody go up, woo. Everybody in here. Oh, baby, she won't go here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at your brushes. A lot of people idolize their children. You hear them talking about their kids and just the way they talk? Their fucking voices make me want to vomit. My angel likes to read, and little Johnny is so good on the piano. Fuck those people! You give up nine months of your life carrying them, you traumatize yourself giving birth to them, and then you spend the rest of your life as their slave. Wiping asses, mopping a piss, feeding them. Little life-sucking monsters who take and take and take until... We all go insane. Any parent who pretends otherwise is just dishonest. That's called choice supportive bias. I am honest. Callum really grinds my gears, and he owes me everything. Everything. It served the little fuck right if I just abandoned him. Excuse me. So I guess that's the exit and this is the entrance. I always wanted to ride this one. Never got around to do it before. Oh, you're gonna be in for a treat then. See guys, this is the thing that happen when glitches happen. I'm not watching Rod's little business. Okay, it's gone. Cool. Best friend. What do you want? Hey, yo, best friend. Yeah. He only has one finger. What do you there. mean? What have you done to him? I. That's insulting. You and your boy are everything that this place doesn't want. The antithesis of what we stand for. Where is Callum? The poor child. He tried so hard to do what he was taught. He even left you a trail of breadcrumbs. But the park is just so hungry. Tell me where my son is. Which has it now? Has both of you? No happy ending here, I'm afraid. Just... just leave me alone. Fool. You always were. 